Steve. Steve Richardson. Steve Richardson. Yes. Nice to meet you. And very, very nice to meet you. And can I say thank you very much for inviting us down to talk uh, about the work we do? You're welcome. L yeah. let, me, let me tell you what we're doing this about, or why we're doing it. Uh, we have a young lady who works in our team, uh, volunteers for the Bulls. Yeah. Also volunteers for you. She does indeed, and she's a star. Yeah, Natalie. And she joined, um, she joined our business club, the Bull Ring. Yeah. And I offered her uh, an interview, but she declined it. But she said, what about homeless, not helpless? And yeah. so and that is... on the back of that, that's, yeah. that's the reason why it's come about. The other reason is that Bradford Bulls, we don't want to be just known as a good rugby, rugby league team. I'd question well, whether you class it as a good rugby league team at the moment, but we do want to be known as a good corporate citizen for Bradford. Yeah. And, and one way we can achieve that is to support uh, local charities, to support uh, uh, charitable organisations like the, uh, the Community sh uh, Shop, which opened last yep. week. Um, and so we're offering this type of interview just yeah. to promote charities. Brilliant. So, um, and you, you run almost not all. Well, I'm, I'm one of one of a team. Yeah, I, 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 my my job tends to tends to come down to um, uh, telling people off and looking after the money, which I don't know whether they're the most important jobs, but they're certainly the ones I, I tend to do. So tell me what you do. Tell me what they, what is a charity? What is it set up to do? Right. So if we just backtrack to the back end of 2019, a young man called Matt, uh, who had um, had problems with, well, let's call it house security. His entire adult life, he went from foster care into, into, um, into, um, uh, what, what, uh, hostels. Sorry, into hostels, uh, sofa surfing, some, um, some time, absolutely sleeping rough. And the run up to Christmas 2019, he had had an idea that he would collect some warm clothing um, of, on behalf of St George's Crypt in, in Leeds, which is a, which is a very well established and famous homeless shelter. Um, and this he put, he put an advert on uh, Facebook to see if anybody would help him and I thought well I've got a car, I'd recently retired and um, I'll put myself to some use and at least run this lot about. Um, we, we did that, uh, I think we were, we were blown away by the generosity of people at the time um, and had far more donations than we could easily handle. And so we had the idea in, uh, in January to, to try and find a way of delivering that help directly to the people who needed it. Um, and so, after a bit of a chat and a couple more people coming on board, we turned up at Bradford Foster Square Railway Station with a car full of, um, of donated clothing um, and, um, and, and a couple of flasks, some cup of soup and some pot noodles. Set up a table and, and sat there. Uh, and I think the first night, probably about 20 people wandered past to see what we were doing. Some people came for a cup of tea. Um, and, and we just carried on going every Wednesday. Um, so much so that, that, that now, yeah, we have three vans, we have um, a full cafe with a hot meal that, that in, in, in one arch, we take up three, three of the arches, um, a full cafe with hot food, sandwiches and snacks, um, we have uh, the second arch has all the clothing, you know, sorted by size now because there's a few ladies involved so we don't have to do that kind of thing, but it's sorted by size and type of clothing, um, shoes, um, coats, sleeping bags and tents if people are in desperate need and then we have a food bank um, so, so ambient food, tin food, uh, fresh bread if we can get all of it that day from uh, places like Greg's, Greg's are very very supportive, Aldi are very supportive, anything they've got left at the end of the day on the Tuesday we, we're able to pick right. up um, and we've seen well between 130 and 150 people Wow. every week and and that breaks down into people you know people who literally have no home or anywhere to find a shelter this is probably about 30 people there's then a, a, a large group of people who are displaced so they'll spend a couple of nights at this house a couple of nights at that they might have a, um, a bed in a hostel for a few nights um, and then we have people who just genuinely need some help yeah, and, and, and that's the area that we have seen and are going to see a massive increase. Okay. Yeah, we're also already talking about people who, you know, a year ago were having to make decisions between electricity and food. Yeah. What's that going to be like by the end of this year? Yeah. Yeah. Do you work with any, any other uh, bodies, departments to try and get people in, into housing or 
No, we, we have a good we have a good relationship with Bradford Council, and they, they have a uh, they have a team called the Homeless Outreach Partnership, which right. brings together some of the work by churches. There's an organisation called In Communities, Simon on the Street, Horton Housing, and they uh, and they also have access to uh, drug and alcohol counselling. So we work very closely with them. So we we regard ourselves as a first aid service. Right. Yeah. You know, right here tonight, you're not going to be cold and you're not going to be hungry. We'll then signpost these people, uh, and members of the hop team come down to our to our outreach session, and we'll we, you know we'll guide people to talk to talk to the hop team, um, and 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 hopefully start a journey. But but homelessness, the process is incredibly. It's like wading through treacle. Right. Yeah, you find yourself, if you find yourself uh, out on the streets tonight, I'd say the best you could hope for would be would be. A pretty grim hostel in about five days right. because the process is so slow. Um, and and you know, this young man here on the camera, he's absolutely no chance. Absolutely no chance because he's young. Right. Yeah, we'd have a chance because you know, because we're old. Because of our age. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it wouldn't be a brilliant chance. No. And so 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 and it's not the fault of the people. Um, from the council, it's not the fault of the hop team. They, they have got they've got the resources um, that they that they're given. Um, there's a finite number of them. There's a finite number of hours in the day, and the demand is constantly increasing. So, and we're talking sorry, we're just talking and we're talking about people. It's not it's not just you know. Well, let's give everybody a house. You know, we could get we could get forty beds in here. That would solve on paper Bradford's homeless problem. You know, yeah. But we're talking about people with serious mental health and addiction issues. Yeah. And just putting somebody inside here would probably make some people's life worse. Right. Yeah. Right. So that's the kind of thing so, we're doing. So you started off with about 20 people. And, and yeah, now, now it's about 150. 150 yeah, we went, and the four volunteers is now, including Natalie, who is absolutely a superstar. We've probably got about a, a team of 60 people who, um, you know, about 30, 40 people a night. Uh, on some kind of not well, it's not really a rotor, but you know, has people's uh, commitment. Um, uh, uh, so, so you feed people on a Wednesday. Yeah, and the first and third Saturdays. What what do they do the rest of the time? There are no, there are a few other organisations that will have um, uh, meals available. So yeah. many of the churches open up at certain times in the day. Um, we have been we have contributed to a to almost like a little booklet to, that shows people where they can eat, or some days they just don't. Right. Right. Yeah. So, um, how do people help you? Do, do, do you yeah. take donations? We do, take, no, we do take, take donations. We've got a Facebook page, yeah. Um, Homeless Not Hopeless. I think we, if we can find you a little link, we can stick it in some of the stuff. Uh, Homeless Not Hopeless. Um, and we, we will ask for specific items on that. General donations, people will bring us up and we'll go and collect both clothing um, and, and food. We've, there's, there's a team of about 30 people who will who will share cooking the hot meal for a Wednesday night or a Saturday. Um, but yeah, we, 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 if you go on the Facebook page, the list of things we currently are urgently in need of is on there. The other thing is, you know, money at the end of the day. Um, it's, an, it's, an expensive, um, it's an expensive operation. We have to maintain a facility, which we have in Keithley, where we can receive donations and sort them, prepare everything to go out to outreach. Um, and, that, and, that's, uh, and that's currently costing us about £825 a month. Right. So we have to find that to stand still. Not a single person takes any money. Um, everybody gives of their time and, um, and, and food and donations freely. But, 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 but between you know, topping up the toiletry supply, making sure there is some bread, making sure there is some water, um, when we've not had enough donations in, it's probably cost us about twelve hundred pounds a month right. to run. So, so you know, um, cash is is the universal donation because we can turn that into what is actually needed at the time. Yeah, yeah. We've got a, 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 a go get fund me site where people can contribute. We have a number of people who are wonderful who give us um, a regular standing order donation direct into the bank, um, uh, and you know, and, and two pounds, five pounds a month. Um, would make an absolute difference to somebody's life right now. Well, you know that uh, we've got the golf day coming up. Yes, indeed. On the yeah. 5th of September. Yeah. And as a club, uh, we're donating uh, some of the proceeds from that day to yourselves. That would be absolutely uh, fantastic. Uh, Thank uh, you. And also our, our Bulls Foundation, which is our charity. Yeah. Uh, 
so hopefully we have a successful day that day and everybody benefits from I, it. I, 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 I'll be there, uh, myself and, and Matt will be, we'll have some literature to give out to people. I'm not going to embarrass anybody by trying to pick up a golf club. Right. Yeah, that would be that would be really seriously bad. Yeah, it's about <laughs> five or six years. Or so. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, but yeah, it's probably probably longer than that. Yeah. And and the deed of gardener after I'd gone round to it. So so we won't do that. Have you got? But any, it will be lovely to see people. Yeah. Have you got any really good stories of of somebody who's come through the system and is now has, has made a success of their life? A, absolutely, absolutely. Now remember, this is a journey, and 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 they, there are steps forward and step backwards on the. Um, on, on that journey, but, but 18 months ago, uh, a man uh, turned up in the pouring rain, Bradford Foster Square railway station, a young man called Liam, um, he, was, he was scared, he was freezing cold, he was weeping, um, and the first thing we were able to do was to sort him out, a, a tent and a sleeping bag and some dry clothes and some food, yeah. Um, over a period of, um, of, of nine months, Helping Liam out. Liam now has um, a housing association flat um, off of Lees Road in Bradford. Um, and whilst there are good days and bad days for Liam, yeah, um, it, you know he has now got some secure housing and and a bit of support from um, from behavioural psychologists and and, and, and addiction counsellors. Um, now I'd like to say every single person we meet starts on that journey and we see a success. So, some people take three steps forward and, and five steps back. Yeah, yeah. Because until until there is, you know, truly, truly fully funded, integrated help for people, people will fall through the gaps. And and you know, it tends to be, you know, men twenty five to forty five who are who are, who are the least successful in trying to get into some kind of program. Yeah. So if there was one question that. Yeah. I haven't asked you that you'd like to have been asked. What would it be? I think you've been, I think you've been very, very, very comprehensive. Um, did I mention the Facebook page is called Homeless Not Hopeless, where you'll find all the links to give the money and the donations? I okay. That was just a, a, an unashamed plug. That's okay. And just, just right. to follow up on that, yeah. is whenever we do these uh, broadcasts, yeah. they go on, they go on uh, Bulls TV on YouTube. Excellent. They go out through our social media and will get seen by around 60,000 people. So, if any of those sixty thousand people want to help homeless, not hopeless, yeah, please. For, yeah, hopefully we'll get some links on there uh, that people can follow. Um, or, or you know, um, seven o'clock on a Wednesday night, Bradford Foster Square railway station. Come and see it. Okay. Come and see it. Um, the the one thing I I, I worked in the chemi chemical industry my entire life. I, I retired, um, and I had no idea about this this issue. Yeah. Um, I certainly felt I'd never done anything truly to contribute back to society, which is why I did it, if I'm honest. And I thought I was just going to drive a car. Yeah, I've had people, uh, I've helped people while they were weeping. I've helped people into ambulances. I've, I've given people food who were so overwhelmed by, effective, well, allegedly my generosity. And I don't think I do a right lot. That that it completely changed my life. Um, every single person we we meet is, a, is an individual story, yeah. I, I actually hate words uh, such as homelessness. I I, it, it is too an important a thing to put a simple label on, yeah. These are people, yeah. These are people whose lives were, were running parallel to mine until something happened, yeah. And it could be the tiniest of things. Mm -hmm. And once that, once that part of their life was derailed, yeah, their, their ability to, to, to get out of that is is very difficult. Yeah, but you know these these are wonderful, wonderful people. Yeah, so many of which I call friends, um, and and it's and, and I look forward to seeing them and, okay. and to talk to them. Well, just to just to draw this to a close. Yeah, um, I'd just like to say good luck uh, in no, supporting the people uh, on homeless, not hopeless. Yeah, and uh, I look forward to seeing you on the golf day. I can't wait. Brilliant. Thank you, Thank you ever so much. Okay.